When you start looking at the demographics of Oklahoma City Public Schools and you, and you really think about the fact that 90% of our kids are living in poverty, that's a, that's a lot of families. It's a lot of families living in poverty. When you drive a little bit northeast or south or southwest, you see it and the only way, the only way to break that cycle of generational poverty is through education. My name is Mary Malone and I'm the President and CEO of the Foundation for Oklahoma City Public Schools. Nothing can really happen without a good plan, but you can't make a plan in a vacuum. So we spent a lot of time with district leadership and with community members to talk about what are the greatest needs? What do we need to focus on? So we worked and developed these five strategic focus areas and within each one we have programs and initiatives going on that are having amazing measurable impact on our schools. When, when we have kids who live in poverty, they're not thinking about 10 years down the road. They're thinking about today. And my goal is I have to have them thinking further uh, we have to have them thinking about how do I want to live my life one day? What do I want to do? And we have to plant those seeds about going to college or going to a technical school. There are more than 40,000 of these kids in our community that all deserve hope and together we can help them have that. We're making some teachers in classrooms really, really happy because there are DonorsChoose.org projects and materials being delivered every single day. And we get thank you notes from the kids and we have get piles of thank you notes, whether it's books or whether it's those chairs to sit on that allow kids to move or whatever it is, they're, they're, they feel like it's Christmas. Many times we don't have things because we don't ask and the Partners in Action has given us that avenue to ask. It's given us that way that we can ask our community, hey, here's things we need. Through Partners in Action, just here at Jefferson, I walked through the front door this morning and there are these beautiful trees that Johnson Controls planted and they have plans to do more. And things like that make such a difference. When a child can come through their school and feel proud and say, I'm here and look, people cared about me and, and planted trees to make our school look better, then they got a little bit of a swagger going. And that's exactly what we want them to have. It's what they deserve to have. We have 54% of our student population as Hispanic. There are more than 40 languages being spoken in our schools. And our teachers are really having to bridge those gaps um, between teaching a new language and learning academic skills. And so that puts a lot on, uh, it's not just learning content, but it's also bridging that language gap. I often think if I were to go into a classroom and it was being taught in Spanish, I would fail miserably. These kids can have the capacity to learn English, but they don't just walk into the classroom necessarily speaking English. So if they're hearing lessons in English and there's no one to translate for them, they're, they're falling further and further behind. So we started a program that has had some national recognition called the Bilingual Teacher Pipeline Project. And we are taking bilingual paraprofessionals who work in Oklahoma City Public Schools who want to be certified teachers, but they, they, they need to keep their full-time job, they need to keep their benefits, they don't have the financial means to go to college. We're paying for their college. The, the barriers that our kids face can't be seen as excuses for their not succeeding. These kids are smart. These, they're kids. They're, they're like sponges. They're ready to take on the world. What we as a community can't do is squelch the hope out of them. And I often say that at the foundation, we sell hope. If we can give hope to our children that they can do more in their lives and that there is a big world out there. We are succeeding and so is our community. What we really need are for people to give their time, talent, or treasure. What that means is time. We need volunteers. We need volunteers and caring adults in our classrooms. Talent. You, have, you may have expertise. If you've got an engineering background, get involved in the Engineering Academy 
as a, as a volunteer with your expertise. And treasure, of course, we always need treasure. And you can donate directly to the foundation online. You can donate through donorschoose.org. You can get involved through Partners in Action. When you give to the foundation, it makes a difference. When our teachers have their projects funded, they may not remember down the road what they had funded. They may not remember, but they remember how it made them feel. They remember that they were able to provide things for their kids in the classrooms, and they remember that it made them feel good. I am so incredibly thankful for our community partners and everyone who gives their time, talent, and treasure to Oklahoma City Public Schools. We have an amazing community and a generous community, and everyone that gets involved with the foundation and with Oklahoma City Public Schools, thank you. You are making a huge difference. You are making a huge difference in the lives of these children and in their futures.